bald cypress taxodium distichum in summer the larch and cypress may easily be told from other trees by their leaves these are needle-shaped and arranged in clusters with numerous leaves to each cluster in the case of the larch and feathery and flat in the case of the cypress in winter when their leaves have dropped off the trees can be told by their cones which adhere to the branches the bald cypress is a southern tree of ancient origin the well-known cypress of montezuma in the gardens of chapultepec having been a species of taxodium the tree is now confined to the swamps and river banks of the south atlantic and gulf states where it often forms extensive forests to the exclusion of all other trees in those regions along the river swamps the trees are often submerged for several months of the year distinguishing characters the feathery character of the twigs and the spire-like form of the tree which is taller and more slender than the larch will distinguish this species from others leaf the leaves drop off in october though the tree is of the cone-bearing kind in this respect it is like the larch form and size tall and pyramidal range the cypress is a southern tree but is found under cultivation in parks and on lawns in northern united states soil and location grows naturally in swamps but will also do well in ordinary well-drained good soil in its natural habitat it sends out special roots above water these are known as cypress knees and serve to provide air to the submerged roots of the tree enemies none of importance value for planting an excellent tree for park and lawn planting commercial value the wood is light soft and easily worked it is used for general construction interior finish railroad ties posts and cooperage other characters the bark is thin and scaly the fruit is a cone about an inch in diameter the general color of the tree is a dull deep green which however turns orange-brown in the fall 